but game two. Um. I'm going to go with the all blacks. Um, I like the all black uniform. Those are pretty sweet. All black with the yellow cat. Nice. Casey Mines again. Uh, we're going to bring Rojas out. Put May in. Put McCutcheon in. Left field. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Black uniforms with the yellow cats, man. Never tried it. I went with the all black uniforms. Coming up on the first pitch. It's pretty and sweet. On the mound yeah. for Pittsburgh in this one, Casey Miles. How about a scouting report on him? Very dominant yeah, his last time out. Picked up the win. Right only there. allowed one run. These guys would love to last see time him we played back on his Miles, game in this uh, one. Seems like a lot of you guys. All right, ready to go uh, here. Here's Adam Frazier. Good pitcher. So. Yeah. Trying to come on top and even this uh, series out right here. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. Oh, Y'all come their way in share, Pittsburgh. Subscribe, you know. JD Jackson, 1033 on YouTube, man. The 0-1. We're going to play a whole season here, so. Yeah, that's a little high. 162 games, I think. So that's 162 videos, plus the World of Outlaw series and the episodes of uh, Assassin's Creed. The why to kick the pitch. Yeah. That's in there. One and two. I'm hoping to bring you guys some good content y'all can enjoy on like a snowy day or when you're sick or bored or whatever. On the ground right side, Phillips whips it to first. One out in the top of the first. Good hustle. Yeah, got to sit back. Hope you got some Luis snacks, to drink, enjoy. Gonzalez. And now the center fielder, Luis Gonzalez. is in there strike okay. one and a swing and a miss oh, there <laughs> oh and two now keeps the at bat going with a foul ball right into the plate Fly ball down the line, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Foul ball still 0-2. The wind of the pitch. 
Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Uh, having a bad practice here, huh? But this good eye in that oh, spot. It's a good take. That misses, two yeah. and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here, I love it. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's two down. That is her, the designated hitter. Yandy two outs, base is empty. Diaz. Yandy Diaz now. And first offering is fouled off. Late on that fastball. Okay. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Rojas makes the catch in and over. Good hustle. Good hustle. Giants are down one, two, three. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at PNC Park. And now here's the starter for San Francisco, Sean Manaya. Chris, how about a scouting report? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking yeah, hitters, pitch, getting good. ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. And then bat him. And here it comes. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. I got to be aggressive. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This to third. There we go. Come on, go, 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 Zips go, go, go. It to first. Yeah. One gone, bottom half of the that first. Second, the designated hitter, G1 Bay. Next to hit, G1 Bay. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. That one's in there. That's strike one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. The 0-2. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Hell yeah. Well, that slider was way that out of the hurt. zone. And for the me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Hold it one now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to first. And that is that. Down in order, go the Pirates. We played an inning. No score. That's where I need to go. They don't have the it's middle. Game. Top of the second. Yeah. Here's That's the veteran right outfielder, now. Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Everybody just exit the field and go right there, center field bar. And the right hater back to work. No, don't go home, John. And first Stand offering by. is fouled off. Yeah. Righty delivers. It's a rumor I heard. Down the line towards the corner. Don't McCutcheon touch. has it sized up. Boy. And out yeah. number one on the grab. Just cut off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority I'll tell you instead what. of a fly out to left. Uh, his comeback last year when he came back, man, that was an amazing game. 
And then the 2,000 hits. Damn. And first offering is fouled off. No score I'm here in the you. second. The boys are fun to watch. Next offering is in for a strike. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boog. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Going to count one and two. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Left hand hitter waits. Hey, now you can do that. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. In the air, right field. Sawinski under it. And puts the squeeze on that. Yeah. Two down. Maybe yeah. caught that one off There's the end so just a little bit. Couldn't quite bear it up enough to really drive it. Game Number six. Six. Here's Michael Tolia. Didn't play in last like night's that. game. A little breather for him. I actually think that game was actually ahead of its time. But really hard. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Sawinski has a beat on nice. it, nice. and that ends the inning. The Giants down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Hey, O'Neill, where's your yellow hat? And welcome back. It's now it's the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. The shortstop. Oh, yeah. I really am Here excited to see this dude play this year. Going one. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Strike two. Good, oh. great sink on that I fastball. That right that. the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That's inside, and a count one and two. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. And that's in there for strike one. There we go. Base hit, center field. There we go. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting it. off a tee. The second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Brett, Brett Phillips. I promise I'll pull the mic up when I'm crunching. <laughs> and there's the strike. Oh, this guy oh, absolutely man, flies. Man. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make, make sure you get the first right. out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And that's in for a strike. Oh, I don't believe that. And the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Cooper over at first with one away. He's going! 
Rudder takes off. Ripped on a line to center. There we go, now. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. <laughs> Batting seven. The left fielder, Andrew. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Come on, catch. Strike one. You'll one. Slice down the right <laughs> side. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. Down the left field line. Should be extra bases. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. He beats it. Save. Yeah. And it's 1-0. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boyd. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool wow. we can get that sort of feedback Good. so instantly in today's game. Here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. He went two for four in Sunday's game. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Late swing fouled off. Stretch the out, bro. He's going. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Little chopper rolls foul. And now the lefty. Runner on the move again. Look out. Oh. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. No, but we're going to tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. At the play, Jack oh, Solinsky through the third. Too late. Safe. Double steal. Man, I'm at the flash, y'all. Hey, we're, we're, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kicks and deals. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Second and third, two down. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Come on, baby. Come on, Jack. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. Yeah. That's a base hit. Yeah. One runs yeah. in. And they almost caught him, but he's back in time. Big RBI for him right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now batting key Brian Hayes. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Out in front and foul to the left side. Runners on first and third, two away. Runner. Runner takes off. This one in the air right field. Pulls up and he drops for a hit. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's three zip. The tag and that's out number three, inning over. Three runs for them here and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Pirates three and the Giants nothing. New inning getting started. Now Marco Luciano. Mize back to work. 
Well, after putting up a nice oh. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any Let's hope. One, two, uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the right-hander deals. And now it's even up. Yep. One and one. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. That one to first, and he grabs it, foul. pitch hacks and misses it it's a strikeout well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone guys become defensive and all of a sudden for the hitter that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is and that's what leads to the strikeout Next offering misses, one and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Goes down looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third and that pitch finished. The third right down the middle, just a Rafael little bit in, and he couldn't pull the Lantigua. trigger. Rafael Lantigua, the next giant to hit. Oh. Clips the corner. That's strike one. Lantigua measures five feet, eight inches, 25 years old, a former first-round pick in 2023. The pitch. That one pushed foul. High fly ball, shallow right field. And the inning is over. Giants go down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh as we go to the last of the third. And stepping in is the speedy G1 Bay. The pitch. There's a strike. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Puts it away for the out. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoked, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Here's Josh Rojas. He's all for one. Good job. catch. And first offering is fouled off. Rojas, in his fourth year, hitting third in the lineup, he joined the team as a free agent. Going to now. And that's just foul. One down, base is empty. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Got it by him for the K. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now.
Cruz. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Man, just looking lost at the plate this first A.B. Some of those swings aren't even close. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Got him swinging. Bucks go down quietly, but they lead it 3-0. Well, two aggressive bet in and go. As we go to the top of the fourth, now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. We're trying there, better cut. The right hander back to work. And that one fouled off. And he'll one. On the ground, right side. Slides, but it gets oh, by him. him. He needed out well. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Man at first. And now Luis Gonzalez. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First offering oh, misses the mark. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And a foul ball. Frazier on at first. Nobody out. On the ground a second. Might be two. And it finds its way through for a hit. Boots it. Up next to the Giants. And now it's the Giants DH. Yandy Diaz. 0 for 1 so far. In there and it's 0-1. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. First and second here, no outs. And there's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 oh, two on two pitches. He didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, he expands just out of the zone where he could do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Line drive, base hit right field. Frazier around third. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And Jack Peterson stands in. Fly to right his first time. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. One out. Runners at first and second. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. And, and a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. In the air, out towards right center. Cooper settles underneath it. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now <laughs> so up next, Michael Tolia. He's over one. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Corners are occupied with two down. 
Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Two outs. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a three one ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively you on the show. Player better. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Garrett Cooper. Cooper. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. And that's through there for a strike. You know, these Pirates showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Up next for the Pirates, Brett Phillips. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. And that one is lifted in the air. Peterson drifts towards it. Makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. The left fielder. And now it's Andrew, Andrew. McCutcheon. McCutcheon. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Gonzalez under it. And that's the third out. And one, two, three go the Pirates. But they still lead it 3 1. Back here at the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano. The pitch. And a pop off right side, foul territory. Rojas makes the catch, and there's one down. The catcher, number 28, Jonah Heim. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And takes low for ball one. Late with the swing there. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Next one misses. Two and one. Outside corner for a strike. Oh. 
Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And he deals. He goes down looking. Rafael Lantigua, next the next giant. giant to hit. Over one, he flat out to Rafael right in his first trip. Lantigua. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. That to right. Sawinski settles under this one. Makes the grab and that's the yeah. inning. Nothing yeah. doing there for San Francisco. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back here at PNC Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. And a pitch. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Now, Jack Sawinski singled and drove in a run his first time through. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Davis leads off second with nobody out. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 4-1. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. Key Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. One for two. Base hit, right, left yeah. center field. The throw in. And he's out, trying for two. But a run does come in to score. Next is the designated hitter, G1 Bay. That one pulled foul. The why to kick the pitch. That one ripped, but foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Still only one out here in the inning. And he lays down a bunt. No way. Sends it to Tolia. Got him trying to bunt for a hit. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there. And that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Now, here is Josh Rojas. Check swing, but he went too far. Slider right there. The wind of the pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Good deal. Now batting. Just kept it simple, played Pepper oh, yeah. with the middle of the infield and took Ooh. it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Here comes Gabe Kapler to the mound, and he's going to take the baseball yeah, from his it. starter. That's it for Sean Manaya, and he had a tough time oh, keeping them black. in the ball game today. Right, we'll get a new arm when we come back. 
A new pitcher in the game, Jacob Junis. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's O'Neill Cruz. There's a strike. Pretty good pitch backed up a little bit, expecting it to go middle away, and it just sort of stayed on the inside corner. Probably good take, because he would have gotten jammed had he swung the bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Righty to the plate. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one, two. Nah. Smoked on the ground a second. They Got take him. the force Good out. Play. Gets him easily, ends the inning. So two runs in the inning, four hits, no errors, and one man left. Five innings complete. It's the Pirates five and the Giants one. And welcome back. Top Beating of the sixth the inning. Now it's the Giants' the leadoff Frazier. hitter, Adam Frazier. Adam. Frazier. Frazier, 32 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Mize back to work. Swing at a ball popped up. Cruz moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now that the center fielder, Luis Gonzalez. And up next for San Francisco, Luis Gonzalez. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, and, one. and It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity Ooh. and stay there. Oh, two. Next one offering ball. way upstairs. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economic. Comical with the pitch count. Energy's getting just a touch low, so coming seven. Diaz at the plate with two Come away, on. swings right. through that one. The next pitch Come misses, on. ball one. One and one. The one one. There's a strike. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Here's a one-two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Pirates five and the Giants one. Bottom of the six. Here's the center fielder, Garrett Cooper. 
Cooper goes six feet five inches, 235 pounds, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he starts in the outfield. Yeah. Oh, big, big stop center field. Oh, field Cook the extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in safely into second. He's got a double. Everything came together for him. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So, a man aboard. Here's a speed threat, Brett Phillips. Foul ball there. And that really speaks to his athletic ability, being able to move from an infield position to go out into the outfield, and it would suggest he's got a pretty good arm as well. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's the left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that's an out. Now batting, catcher, Henry Davis. Henry Davis will hit next. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Oh, man, that oh. smoked him on the mound. He makes the throw, but it's not in time. And they don't get an out on the play. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. And first offering is fouled off. foul ball Davis off the first with two away and there's a base hit to left hey there we go throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away back against the wall with two the strikes but found a way I really like that he swing man that. he didn't just push it the other way hey. through the infield he drove it that way and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box got a pitch he liked and he got it done now this is in the air down the line Hanniger puts it away and that will end the inning they get a run on three hits no errors and two men left on we're through six full it's the Pirates six and the Giants one. All set for the start of the inning. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. And the right hander back to work. Fly ball down the line. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same. Yeah. Same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And the Pirates manager making his way to the mound now as he will make the move. Casey Mize is done. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. <laughs> On the mound now, Johan Oviedo. He last pitched two days ago. Number 24, Johan. 
Oviedo. And now Jack Peterson and a foul ball. All these Giants just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And he'll two. Hey. Struck him out looking. Hey. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones that let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And up next for the Giants, Michael Tolia. Swing and a miss, strike one. The 0-1. And that one fouled off. Man at second. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. One out and a runner at second. Right through there. Got him. That's out number two. Well, he froze him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for now fastball. Back. Once he recognized that Marco it was off speed, Luciano. he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. On the run, throw to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for San Francisco. They trail it 6 1. Bottom of the seventh, and now the DH, G1 Bay. And the pitch. He was late there, strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Johnny Brebbia getting ready to go. Rogers getting cranked up as well. Fouled off, he was late. center field and that's going to roll to the wall around first heading for two and he's there with a leadoff double the relay to second but he's in there easily really nice job a two strike hitting and that at bat nice line drive to the full side met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield So digging in, Josh Rojas, one for three. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Now batting, shortstop, oh yeah, Cruz. O'Neal Cruz getting ready to hit. And that's in for a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next offering is outside. Ripped on the ground a second. Frazier on the first in time. That's it out. Up next to the Hardy. The center fielder. And Garrett. now the center fielder, Garrett Cooper. Cooper.
hard hit right side to first inning over Pirates leave one they still lead it though 6 1 We're at the top of the eighth, and now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Number 28, Jonah Heim. The pitch. Fought off foul. Not even close there. One ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss. The wind and the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Davis calls it in, and there's one away. The batter, the third baseman, Rafael Lantigua. Rafael Lantigua, the next giant to hit. Misses oh. off the play. One and oh. There's a swing and a miss. One and one. So now one and one two. Now well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next offering oh. misses, and the count is two and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Phillips. Throw save. And that was close. And it looks like they might end up challenging this one. Very close play. And we will take another look as well. I couldn't tell in live action, that's for sure. And you know. So they have decided to challenge the play. And now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Ladies and gentlemen. Irish Here's one more look. The they play. called him safe, and I'm not sure that there's anything here to overturn the call. What about you, Singy? I don't think so, Boog. I mean, we need something obvious to overturn it, and I just don't see it. Yeah. So they made a decision, and the runner is safe. The original call is confirmed, and that leaves them without any challenges the rest of the way. Upon video review, the umpires have upheld the call of safe at first base. So up next, Adam Frazier. This one popped up. Hayes on the move. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. Two down. Now batting, the center fielder, Luis Gonzalez. Luis Gonzalez, the next giant to hit. Oh. 
First That's offering, and it just misses. Lontigua off of first with two away. And that is cut on and missed. One ball, and a one count break. one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Some high cheese for strike three. So the Giants leave one. The lead remains five. It's six one. Welcome back, and here is Brett Phillips. The second baseman. The pitch. Just missed. Swing and a miss. And the count even at one. There's a strike. One ball, two straight. That's Got right. him looking, that's oh, a strikeout. Yeah. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely uh, froze it. And here is Andrew McCutcheon. That one hit to right. Edgar sizing it up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. No. And that. No, I'm now the catcher up. comes up to him. Henry Davis. That one out to right. Hanniger makes the play, and that is that. Down in order go the right, Pirates. Guys, they lead it though, 6 1. Back here in Pittsburgh, we now it's the DH. We got Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz. Oviedo back to work. Five first game. And, and a strike. No, I didn't change nothing or anything. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Puts it away for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. That one's in there, 0-1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his there stuff is, go. you might as well take Come all on. three swings. Kicks and deals. That one lifted to left. McCutcheon has it sized up. And there's two away. Here's Jack Peterson. In there for strike one. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Hayes moving under this one. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Pirates even this series up in a game of peace. Well, I'm not sure if he expected right, to yeah. get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton... And we come back, guys. We Thanks. Yes. We will be back with.
third game. Hope you all have a great night and a blessed